Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Okay, so you're able to install custom songs on Beat Saber, but you can't find your favorite ones, or maybe you want a remix of them to play. And you may not even have a PC to install them, even if you did. Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today is a very special video, as I'm going to show you how to make your own Beat Saber custom songs in under 2 minutes. Not the video, but the time it takes to do it. Then, how to install those songs on your headset without ever needing a computer. So if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it lets me know to make more of this type of content. Talking about special. Remember, I have a giveaway for the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners on Steam and for a secret Oculus Quest 2 game. So if you want to enter, it's really simple. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notification and pick the game you want to enter for by commenting either hashtag Walking Dead or hashtag Secret Quest 2 game down below. The giveaway is ending sometime this month so make sure you're in it to win it. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so with this I'm assuming you already have BMBF installed on your quest. If you don't, then I've linked the video above as well as in the description below on how to get BMBF on your quest without a PC. Alright, so this is very easy to do but listen carefully. The first thing you need to do is find a song that you want to play. You can use things like YouTube or SoundCloud. I'm going for the Batman theme music from YouTube. Once you know what song you want, then copy the link. Then go onto a site called beatsage.com. I have added the link in the description as well in case you're too lazy to type. Then paste your link into the search box which says step 1. Then step 2. Pick your difficulty level. I always pick normal, hard and expert at least. As some of the songs aren't that great on normal but are really good on hard and above. Next step 3. Select your game mode. I usually select a standard 90 degrees. 360 degrees would be better but it costs money. You can read more about it on their Patreon page. For step 4, select your song events. I usually add all that is available as I enjoy the variety. Now there is a hidden advanced setting where you can change the environment. You can choose one if you wish but just leave the model version on version 2 flow. Now this final step can be a little annoying since you need to slice the box, though it's quite creative. However, I have found that you can just press the box 3 times for it to start downloading, which is convenient for phone users. It does take a while to download depending on how long the song is, so just be patient. Once it has downloaded, now all you have to do is just install the file on BMBF. To do that, make sure your Quest and your phone are both on the same network. If you're using a PC, then just make sure that's also on the same network. You might need to connect it via Wi-Fi. You also need to be on the BMBF app on the headset at the same time, meaning inside the Quest. You can just put a cleaning cloth on the sensor to keep it on. Now to open BMBF on your phone, simply go into BMBF on your headset, click on Tools and on the far right you should be able to see the IP address. You need to input that into a web browser on your phone with http colon forward slash forward slash. So for example, for me it would be http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.68.128 Call on 50,000. Please don't put mine in, you need to use your own. Then on your phone, the web page for BMBF will open and all you have to do is just press the middle button to upload the downloaded zip file of the song. And then upload the file. Once it's done, make sure you sync Beat Saber by pressing the red button on the top right. Then that's it. Go into Beat Saber and it should be working. Now to be honest, the maps that are created are actually quite impressive. The normal difficulty though aren't as good sometimes. But the hard and expert levels are actually quite impressive. I'm sure most of the people playing won't even realize that, that this map has been auto-generated. Well, that's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also remember to enter my Walking Dead and Secret Quest 2 game giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.